This video is sponsored by Wondershare, a leading software company for video and audio editing solutions. Today, we are diving into their product, the Video Uni Converter, designed for video conversion, editing, and enhancement. We will explore together the main features, including the video converter supporting over 1000 formats and the compressor, which reduces file sizes without significant quality loss. The tool also includes a handy merger, a built-in editor for convenient quick edits and a DVD burner for physical media perfect for client work. Additionally, there is a 4K to 8K player that handles almost all formats. This is a lot, I would say, so let's get right into it. So the intro was catchy, but you know what? It couldn't even list a fraction of the features that this program offers. To show you the full extent, let's not waste any time and dive straight into the installation and take a look at the program. Oh, and if you enjoy the video, please subscribe and like it to help me continue making cool videos for you. Thanks a lot. All right, first let's go to the Wondershare website here and download the video unit converter for Windows 11. Okay, done. Now double click and let's install it. The installation is straightforward and I think it creates two shortcuts directly on my desktop. Yes, great. Okay, ah, and by the way, I will include all the important links in the description down below so you can find them instantly without having to search for them. So let's open the main program here. The current version is 15, by the way, because it also installed the player that supports playback of almost every format. Here we have a launcher that showcases all the features and tools the software comes with. Let's explore, I would say, together each one and I will give you a brief overview of what they are all about. Okay, first of all, on the home here, we have the three main and biggest applications. The converter, which can convert video or audio to and from over 1000 formats. That's a lot. Then you have a downloader, which can download media from websites. And last but not least here, we have the compressor, which compresses video and audio files without significant loss of quality. I really love this feature because it saves me a lot of disk space, meaning I don't have to buy new external hard drives for all my video files as often. Okay, then you also have an editor for quick edits, a screen recorder here to record your screen activities and a merger which can easily combine multiple video and audio files into one. I think this is also very, very useful. Okay, there's a DVD burner, which might seem a bit old school, but don't underestimate clients or persons who prefer to use a DVD player to watch movies or family videos like weddings. You also have an image converter, which works like the video converter, but for still images. Let's click and expand. There is a player for 4K, 8K footage as well, which I think it's very handy, especially when, when other players struggle with higher resolutions. Finally, there is a speech to text feature, which can be used for example, generating subtitle for your videos. As you can see, there are many more tools in this windows like uh, GIF maker, CD converter, and a bunch of AI tools like uh, video or image enhancer, AI thumbnail maker, noise remover, and yeah, additional video stabilization. So very cool tools. I think for this video, we must focus on the most important tools I use regularly as a video editor in order to improve my personal workflow. The video converter, the compressor, the editor and the merger for fast merging without using a separate editing program. And let's see, yes, why not? I think also I have a USB A DVD burner in my shelf somewhere over there. So let's burn DVD together for all time's sake. Ah, and before I forget, there is also another menu item on the left side called My Files here. There you can see all your files and have the option to upload or download them or from the Wondershare cloud when you press 
the right mouse button you could do this. I personally use MP4 in high resolution 4K for my videos, but I also sometimes use snippets from my iPhone which usually records in MOV format. I still have some older files I want to integrate and they could be in AVI formats. Additionally, I need to convert some of all the DVD formats to MP4, which wasn't that easy. Okay, let's see if the converter can handle all these different formats properly. Alright, let's start the conversion. Everything is done. Let's have a look at the output files here. Okay, they are all now in MP4 format and I can play them smoothly in the Uni Converter player. I think this first test was really successful. Okay, I will move on with the next useful tool, the compressor, my favorite tool, because it already saved me so much disk space for my backup files. Okay, my example import worked quite well. I would say let's keep it at 70% and try out how much the file size will change when I choose some files with this file size at around, let's check it out, 20.2 gigabytes and compress them so you can delete the original files and keep the compressed ones. Okay, let's compare the file size very briefly. We have here 20.2 gigabytes and let's open this folder. Okay, all the files together have 13.9 gigabytes. Wow, it saved me really a lot of storage space. I know now what I will be doing over the next few weeks, so I don't have to buy any additional hard drives as often, to be honest. Yeah. Okay, good, let's jump right into the editor. So first of all, I really like the user-friendly interface, also the converter and compressor, by the way. <laughs> I find everything very fast and it's completely logical on how to proceed, at least for me. Okay, here we have some basic functions, which can be very useful when you're in a hurry. For, for sure, it will not substitute your editing software, but for a quick edit, I think you can use it anyway. Good. So this was the editor. I'm really surprised how many functions it offers. So when you're too lazy to work with a complicated editing tool, you can also use this for short editing sequences for your shorts or reels, I would say. Okay, good, what's next? Um, ah yeah, the merger function. I think this part doesn't need too much explanation here around. Simply load two or more files here in this area and drag and drop it and merge them to your defined output folder. I think this is a no-brainer. Okay, and now last but not least, as I promised, the DVD burner. <laughs> As I said, let's try it out to remember the good old times or you will be surprised how many clients still want to get something physically. All right, to burn a DVD, first of all, we need to plug in my USB-A cable of my external DVD burner. So let's do this right away. And then we have these discs, these empty ones, and we will burn something on that. And now let's go to our tool, to the DVD burner, and add this and the filters through color YouTube video from me to the DVD burner section. So we can use now here a predefined intro menu, what's also nice. It already said that this was an MP4, he will convert it to another resolution. And we have no subtitles and that's fine. The size is also not, not that big. It's a DVD 5, so means that maximum you can burn 4.7 gigabytes on this disk. We don't need that much. And I've chosen this nice menu and I can also I have a DVD folder and I can say burn. Let's go for it. Okay, the creation of the DVD folder is completed apparently. And now we they got it and the DVD should be available here. Good, so that worked very well. 
So I think I showed and demonstrated to you the most important features the Wondershare Video Unique Converter comes with. For sure there are many more possibilities with the AI tools like the Video Enhancer, Voice Changer or AI Thumbnail Creator, but I think this could be a topic for another video. Simply let me know if you are interested in another showcase in the comments down below. If you have any questions regarding this versatile software suite, feel free to leave one for me. And as always, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If so, please like and subscribe to support me and my channel. I highly appreciate that. Furthermore, if you like the video, there will be more popping up around me. So check them out and also hit the notification bell down there somewhere so you don't miss any future videos of mine. So happy converting, compressing and editing. Stay safe, stay healthy and see you in the next one.